Good day, everybody. Welcome to Miss Valley Entertainment News. My name is Dredd. Exciting times are coming for Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3, the award-winning game that has um, changed some of the expectations in the gaming industry, even though some of the gamers out there, or rather some of the gaming companies out there, don't like that expectations have now changed. Um, but my expectations going forward over the next year for Baldur's Gate 3 are this game's going to blow through the stratosphere again. Um, in my opinion, a Skyrim level modding is coming to this game very, very quickly. And it is going to be a literal and figurative game changer for Baldur's Gate 3. So let's get into this. Uh, oh, I should say this is a uh, video we're acting to by Veteran Joystick, and uh, you can see the original video linked down below. As always, let's get into it. Custom campaigns in Baldur's Gate 3 are almost a reality, and we can already explore Avernus. Check this out. So I posted a video a couple of days ago on how custom maps and campaigns have been made possible now in Baldur's Gate 3 since the release of the BG3 toolkit unlocked. So the original Baldur's Gate 3 toolkit that Larian released with their modding uh, update um, basically locked you off and only being able to do certain things. They didn't want to open up the whole thing. I think their original thought was this is too difficult. However, very, very quickly, somebody on Nexus Mods found a way to go into the code and very easily unlocked the entire thing and saw that for people who are used to modding and actually making mods, this is not all that difficult. And now they can change anything within the game. Anything. Um, pretty exciting. Because now you get to create your own campaigns. Now if you want to create your own settings and your own lands and your own sections, where you, you can create the whole thing and have your characters go and adventure during the original game or whatever, you can do that. If you want to create entire um, quest lines, you can now do that. If you want to create your own characters, your own companions, your own followers, you can mod them. You can you can add voice lines. You can do the whole thing that is some of the most exciting things ever if you are a Skyrim player who uses mods. That is coming to Baldur's Gate 3, and that is awesome. By the way, there are rumors that the person who unlocked this um, there are rumors that Larian was okay with it and actually wanted this. See, apparently the rumors go that, uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Hasbro and all of them said, no, we want to keep control over this franchise and control over this with potential down the road DLC or whatever we want to do with a new company. So we'd like you to not unlock all of this toolkit so that we have control over it. And, uh, According to the rumor, Larian said, yep, sure, we'll, we'll go along with what you say, but they, they left a back door by making it very, very easy to unlock the rest, and we're quite confident it was going to happen. So if so, that's a big from uh, Sven and Larian Studios to the corporations who, uh, who want to control things, and then uh, all I can say is thank you, Larian. But let's move on and I've been keeping my eyes open for progress on these kind of mods since that went out and I'm genuinely blown away with how quickly the community has managed to piece together some entirely new explorable areas. You've got to see these. Now I'm a prolific lurker over on Reddit and the BG3 mod subreddit specifically and I've been seeing some massively talented modders over there showcasing their work so far with the toolkit. Very so I cool. reached out to some and they kindly gave me the permission to use their footage in today's video. Big shout out to Katzenberger and Lotrich 3. I'll link their channels in the description. Go show them some love. So what we've got here are two brand new locations built from scratch using the BG3 toolkit unlock. New locations built from scratch using the toolkit. The unlocked toolkit. One modelled on Avernus, the first layer of the Nine Hells, inspired by Elden Ring's Kaelid, and the other, a woodland setting by the lake. The Avernus themed map by Katzenberger is visually really impressive with the now, I'm no expert on Avernus, but if this is a layer of hell, I'm hoping that they just, at this point, haven't added in a lot of flames and stuff, because I think it, it needs a lot of flames. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, though. 
the striking red color scheme and what I assume to be a river of blood. You can definitely see the Kalid inspiration here with the mushrooms, burning bushes and tree stumps next to hanging bodies. It's so cool to see all of the ground loot and chests scattered around, all of which have been hand placed. We can even see some custom cool. books detailing the backstory of Avernus itself. I'm assuming nice. these can end up being brand new detailed lore books to expand on a location's lore or even further the story of origin characters themselves. The crazy thing is this has all been put together in just two days and they've mentioned wow. over on Reddit how easy the tools are to use. Which Two days work to make that. Wow. Some incredibly talented modders out there. I mean, and I've known that for years, but... You know, the fact that these, these modders are not actually video game designers themselves astounds me because they're better than 90% of the devs out there who work on games. And that's not a shot at the video game devs. It's a little bit of a shot. Because uh, we, over the last five years, have certainly seen a large influx of developers and designers coming into the video game industry. Who quite honestly, are shit. They're, they're shit. A lot of them are woke activists who want nothing more to push an agenda. So they did a quick study and something jumped into it. Don't have passion for it. They just have passion for whatever their their agenda they're pushing, and they don't know how to make a game. And we're seeing way too many people hired where that's the case. Now, obviously, there's always great devs out there, and even in the last five years, there's been some great devs hired, I'm sure. But the percentage of crap ones is going up, and that's uh, that's why the video game industry is beginning. To, one of the one of the reasons the video game industry is beginning to suffer with its products which is music to the ears of a half-wit like me, and they're already exploring how to add in new cutscenes and voice lines, plus potentially starting work on Menzo Baranzan, the city of spiders from the Underdark. That's pretty cool. A whole, uh, whole drow city would be cool. But voice lines and cutscenes. Wow. Modded voice lines and cutscenes. Game changer, people. Game changer next. Lotrich 3, on the other hand, has put together a new woodland location, starting in the ruins of an old church. Looks like some of the ground textures are still needed to be added or tweaked, but other than that, looks nice. With an eerie shrine in the center, with what seems to be Orange Dagger in the middle of it. The particle effects or fireflies here look really cool. We've then got a little homestead, which from what I understand is custom built. This in itself is massive for the game, as it brings us a step closer to being able to create custom player homes that we can then decorate. In another clip, we can see a picturesque lakeside picnic site at sunset, which looks cool. like something straight out of a romance cutscene. From the feedback, it seems it's entirely possible to build out completely new storylines with whole new fully voiced cutscenes inside a fully custom campaign setting. And again, this is what was done in two days. Think about what this, this, this work would look like in a month from now. By the way, good point, uh, good time to add in. If you're interested in watching some gameplay from me, of some modded Baldur's Gate 3. No, I don't make my own mods. But uh, I have, I am putting out probably this coming week here, um, the beginning of a series um, on, on, well, I shouldn't say this coming week. It can, the next coming couple of weeks, for sure. Over on my Mist Valley Mods channel. Link is down below. Mist Valley Mods, M-O-D-Z. Um, I will have a Baldur's Gate 3 modded series. It'll be my first modded Baldur's Gate 3 series. I'm pretty excited for that. I put together a list of mods that I want to use, and I'm just playtesting right now to make sure that all works. Seems to be going well so far. By the way, I'm not using the in-game modding tools to just add mods. I'm actually using a Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager that I downloaded off of Nexus, and I'm downloading all the mods off of Nexus, inserting them, making sure they work properly in the mod manager and going that way. That's the way I'm used to with Skyrim, and I appreciate that way, and I like learning little bits about how to add mods in by doing that. So uh, in the next few weeks, Baldur's Gate 3 Modded will be coming to my Miss Valley Mods channel. That'll be an ongoing series. If you're interested, please check it out. Uh, by the way, that channel also in the next week or so, hey, we'll be adding a 
modded series for Conan Exiles as well. Never done that before either. So if you're interested in that, and that'll be played on the Savage Wilds map that I have never played on before, an entirely new Conan Exiles map for me, to check out Misspelly Mods. It's still very early days and modders are still figuring out all of the functionality, but to see this level of progress in a couple of days is genuinely mind-blowing. Yeah, Hats off to you guys. Make sure to go check out their channels, which are in the description. There is a Discord server out there that has a guide on exactly how to use the tools and how to make certain things. And like Very I say, cool. they're still working on figuring out the ins and outs of it. It's a really cool community to be a part of. I'm super excited by the development of these kind of mods and what yeah, this for means sure. for the future of the game. So if you want to stay up to date on all things Baldur's Gate 3 and the ever-growing mod scene, make sure to give the video a like drop a comment and subscribe to the channel for more so yeah check out all right try not to sneeze check out veteran joysticks original video link down below and um check out miss belly mods for some modded gameplay upcoming i am still working on my own skyrim mod list as well which will be uh, probably available later this fall or early in the winter um, we will get that up and running eventually. It's been a while and I've done many Skyrim mod lists, put them together before. Um, this one's challenging, but uh, it's going to be what I'm describing as because of interference from uh, Bethesda into the modding scene. Uh, it's going to be my last Skyrim mod list. I'm hoping it to be stable enough to be able to play for a long time. Um, hey, hey, I think this is very, very, very exciting for Baldur's Gate 3. I really think over the next year, this is going to really change things for this game. And I think it's going to bring a lot of people flooding back to this game. And I think you are going to get Skyrim level modding done on this game. I think it's going to be um, the second most moddable game after Skyrim. I think it's, I mean, right now we've got very simple kind of mods. I mean, we had a couple that added races, a couple that added classes, but most of them are very simple changes. These new mods, when they start coming out, and people see how modders, uh, professional modders, see how easy this is to do, this is going to explode. And you're going to be able to play Baldur's Gate 3 in the future in ways you had no idea you ever wanted to, uh, <laughs> but you're going to be able to, and it's pretty exciting. So for Miss Valley Entertainment News, my name is Dredd. Thank you all for your views. Don't forget to leave a like, little thumbs up there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Love to have you on board. The link's down below to my other YouTube channels and my Discord, Miss Valley Discord. Love to have you join up. I post all my videos there, and I talk about life in general and all kinds of things there. Uh, appreciate your, your time so much, people. Drop a comment. Let me know how you enjoyed things and what you're thinking about this. We'll see you next time here on Miss Valley Entertainment News.